it's a fake Snuggie, we're getting rid of it. My closet is a pretty accurate reflection of my uh, <laughs> mental state at the moment. And just between you and me, um, I can't afford to bring that into 2022. So spoiler alert, we definitely brought all that into 2022. I'm just reaching this tipping point where it's like now or never, like I'm either gonna reinvent myself into this chic little sophisticated Pinterest bitch, or I'm just gonna let the inertia of life like carry me down this like mediocre path of like wearing clothes that I don't really like or really reflect me. So um, I have an aesthetic vision for my closet for my whole life, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think the best place to start is just getting rid of everything that does not support the vision. So this is the way my closet looks right now. All Gabe's stuff is over here. All my stuff is like squeezed in here. Got shoes, plenty of unworn shoes here, stuff in storage. It's a mess. I'm tired of it and I don't want this in my 2022 anymore, so. If I try on every piece of clothing, I will want to die by the end of the day, so we're not gonna do that. And I think what we're gonna do instead is if I know I'm gonna keep a piece of clothing, I'm just gonna immediately hang it back up in the closet. Now, for anything that doesn't go back into the closet, it's gonna be clothes that I'm donating, clothes that I'm gonna try to sell when I make a Depop shop, feature video coming soon, wink, wink. And then the third pile will be clothes that I wanna keep, but like I think I need to do something to them, like take them to the tailor, let me get everything and put it onto my bed. Not gonna lie, I'm already regretting this. It's a faux Snuggie, it's a fake Snuggie. We're getting rid of it. That was his PlayStation controller. <laughs> Ew, does my hair look too greasy to film this video? Hang on. Sorry, snack break. I decided that today I'm not doing like shoes, hats, purses, anything like that, just clothes. This is gonna feel so good though. I cannot wait to be done. Clips of like what my closet looked like before. Of my mental state. As I'm doing this, I'm kind of realizing I hate most of my clothes. This is not good. yellow dress. It's actually more of a romper and someone looks really good in this color yellow. So I think I'm actually... <sighs> okay, first of all, I feel like Belle. <laughs> right? Do you see what I'm saying though? Like it fits kind of nice, I think. It does feel nice. But like, I hate that these are short. Oh. So I feel like, yeah. you know? They look yeah. Something about it is wrong, and this is just not my color. You know what it... Tell me, Poppy. Feels Dolly Parton vibes. Yeah? I think I should try and sell it. But it's a shame, because like this right here... Yeah. Next. So this dress makes me look like my name is Peggy motherfucking Sue, and like not in a cute way. It's by Madewell, and I'm sure it looks good on someone else. So she's definitely gonna go in the Depop pile. God, I don't even know how long I've had this for. She's in rough condition and I know she doesn't fit, so we're gonna put her in the Depop pile. This was a pair of my dad's old jeans. He was gonna like throw them away and I'm like, let me experiment with my sewing skills and turn it into a ginormous skirt that doesn't fit. This is fucking, this is dummy for sure. Okay, this denim jacket, I thrifted with one of my girlfriends a while back. I have literally never worn it, first of all, and I've kind of realized, like, I don't think I look good in an oversized silhouette. Now this denim jacket, on the other hand, this is from H&M. I bought it in 2011, and I still have it. How's that for sustainability? She is going back. Yes, we have our first putback piece. We love her. I like this jacket a lot. Okay, fun fact. This is the only pair of jeans that I own. I think I, they need to be taken to the tailor. This is a pair of denim shorts that I think is really cute. They have this like faux leather, like lace up detail. 
too big for me now, so I think I'm gonna try and sell these. I'm gonna take some of this leather skirt I love. Oh, and at the time I was like, oh my God, this is the leather skirt of my dreams. But then I never actually got around to wearing it. <coughs> um, but I think she's a staple, so we're gonna keep her. For sure. Okay, so this is actually a wrap but it's definitely a keep for now. And then I have this ballet wrap skirt. Definitely a keep. This you may remember from the Alexander Wang X H&M collab. I remember seeing Rihanna in this little set and being like, yeah, I need that. Unfortunately, I'm not Rihanna. So I think there is another bad bitch who would appreciate this. So she's going in the deep hot pile. It's a merch shirt of one of my favorite rappers, Marlon Kraft. So I'm not getting rid of any of his merch, even though I don't wear it. This dress is way too big for me. So I'm going to donate her. This dress is also too big for me. Damn. This dress was my mom's in the 90s. Even though the fabric doesn't feel great, I think she's beautiful, so I'm keeping her. I'm gonna keep this. Haven't worn yet, but I know I'm gonna love her. We're keeping her. This is the staple of my wardrobe. We're keeping her, we're keeping her. Ugh. I think it could be really cute with like a little, not this bra obviously, but maybe like a cute little bralette. So we're gonna keep. It's a little long, so I think I'm gonna get it taken up just a smidge. So yes, I think a sheer puff sleeve is always absolutely beautiful, but if I don't actually wear it, this one I'm a little bit, I'm actually okay with. I think we're gonna keep her, yay! Okay, this is more of a swimsuit cover up than a dress, but we're keeping for $12. I needed a white dress at the time, so I just kind of went with it. Uh, I think it's obviously a hard pass. Okay, this dress, I was almost certain I was gonna wanna get rid of it, but I think actually I'm gonna keep her just or a little bit longer and give her a second chance. I went through a huge blazer phase, like probably a year or two ago. I kind of think I'm over the vibe, but at the same time, I do think that that's actually kind of sexy. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. Then we have this blazer. I think that's a vibe, so I'm gonna keep that. But I used to love this, but I don't know if it fits very well anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're gonna keep her for now. Like, that's just weird, that length, right? Like, Y2K, but not in a good way. <laughs> so this, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up keeping. Yeah, I love this blazer. I'm honestly keeping this blazer forever. Let's try on these jackets. And honestly, if I were smart, I'd probably keep it because that whole like cabin core, mountain core vibe is like coming back. But I just don't know if this fits like the style that I really want to have. This jacket was the way that I survived living in New York City in the winter. I do hope to move back to New York one day probably. Like just imagine it's like 20 degrees in New York City. And then these two coats, obviously like don't wear these out, but they are like memories from my time in the Air Force. Like I just know that I'm not gonna get rid of them because sentimental reasons. Thrifted this camel trench. She's a keep. Like these leather pants, these trousers. Like it's definitely like more the vibe that I want to like move my wardrobe in. So these are keeps. These jackets right here, to be honest, I don't really like them, but I wear them around the house because I am always freezing. So unfortunately, until I can like afford to. I just needed to do a brief intermission and say that I am honestly overdoing this. Just know it's going to feel so good. It's going to be another tab in my brain that I get to close. So we're gonna keep pushing. So next, I have on this sarong, which if you couldn't tell, bright colors, not really my thing, but for some reason, I like this and I think that I can make an exception for a little beach cover up, yes? So we're gonna keep her. Merch from my favorite rapper, and I do wear this hoodie a lot, so we're gonna keep that. This, again, my mom's in the 90s, keeping her. She's a little oversized, but we still like her and we still wear her a lot. So I don't even know why I'm trying her on. Cause like, come on, like I knew I was gonna keep this. These two jackets, I'm almost certain I'm gonna get rid of, but I'm gonna try them on anyway. This jacket used to be such a, a vibe to me. She's honestly a little worn down. Damn, actually I kinda like that. All right, see, this is why we try things on. Am I wrong though? 
Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong about this. I kind of like this. Tell me if I'm wrong. What? I don't know why I have not gotten rid of like nearly as much as I expected to get rid of. So that's interesting. Maybe I don't hate my clothes after all. This jacket I stole from my dad. Actually, now that I'm trying it on, I also kind of like it. Damn it. Let me pull the chair. I'm not one of those people that believes that like you need to fit into like one aesthetic. The thing is like lumberjack is just not me though. Then I put this on and I'm like, that's kind of fun. And like, look at me wearing like a little bit of color. See, now I want to keep this and I was not expecting that. Hmm, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna give it back to my dad. And you know what the, th the good thing about that is, is like if I change my mind someday, I can always take it back. I know that we love this like fringe moment here, so I don't know why we're even trying her on. Staying in the wardrobe. I thrifted this cropped little blazer a while back. I just remember thinking it was gonna be a vibe. It is, but I don't know if she's my vibe again. She's cute in her own way, but like this volume here does not really do me any favors. Yeah, she's getting depopped. We have my little velvet bolero jacket again another thing i took from my mom we love her i definitely think she could be taken to the tailor a little bit actually no she's fine i love her literally half my closet is stolen from my mom tell me she's not a moment i don't think i i don't foresee myself ever getting rid of this jacket she's just cool let's talk about this coat as fabulous as this coat is, I have to say, I regret that. I don't see myself buying fur new ever again. I think these are really complicated questions and I don't wanna get into every detail of like how I feel about it now. What I will say is that I do think that there's someone else out there who would love and cherish and wear the f out of this jacket. And like, that's why I'm gonna sell it. Speaking of secondhand fur, when I was in London one year, I went to Goldsmith Vintage. I saw this and I just thought it was so beautiful. I have loved it, worn it, and I'm gonna keep it. It's this like, I don't know what you would call this. I've kept it for years. I'm literally never getting rid of it. I live in Southern California now, so I haven't really had a reason to wear her, but I do hope to move back to New York someday. So we're definitely keeping her. I have this beautiful cashmere sweater that I thrifted, but it's from Henry Bendel and it like, is that how you say it? Bendel, Bendel, I don't know. But she fits like a dream. We're keeping her. It says the cashmere collection, but let me like find out it's like 5%. Oh no, 100% cashmere, yes, okay. Honestly, I will probably keep it just based on that. <laughs> I was thinking that I was probably gonna sell this little Calvin Klein pajama set because I'd never worn it. And then as soon as I tried it on, I kind of was like, uh, mine? Hmm. I don't know, this is like weird, yeah. Okay, she's going in the Depop pile. I used to be about the distress, but she's a little big on me now. We're gonna sell her. This dress has been in my life since 2014, but like look at her now, she just, she doesn't fit. I could get her taken in again. I honestly don't even know if she's possible to save, but I think she's worth the effort. So I'm gonna put this in the take to the tailor pile. One of my girlfriends once told me that she would describe my style as like chic goth, <laughs> but that same friend also told me once when I was wearing this particular dress that I looked like I was going to a funeral. <sighs> Slip, like I said, I used to wear a lot under my black blazer to go out. I started to feel like it had gotten a little big, but it's just, it's so clingy, it almost doesn't matter. So actually, I think I'm gonna keep her. I thrifted this Calvin Klein dress. I want her a little shorter than this. Would love to like change the neckline to be more square. I think if I make those adjustments, it'll be good. And she's too nice of a dress to just like give up on her, so. In the mirror, I'm like, all right, like this could be cute over like a bodycon dress. And then looking at it in the viewfinder, I'm like, nah. So I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna put it next to my other swimsuit cover-ups. Okay, also, just because it's 4 p.m., which means we are now losing the light, I decided to go through the small remaining pile that we had on the bed and just pull out things that I know I want to keep, at least for the time being. So that includes these. For her, so we'll keep her for now. 
I can barely breathe in this dress, <clears throat> but I'm keeping it. Her necks just don't look good on me. I don't know why. I think it's because like, got a little bit of boob action. Like square neckline or bust. So I think I could get money for that. This I thrifted at one of my favorite vintage shops in New York. I don't know, she's cute, but I've never really done anything with her because of how oversized she is. But like, I still want her. Everyone needs like a white button down, yes? And like this silk is so nice and it feels so good. We're keeping her. We are keeping her for sure. This honestly used to be one of my all time favorite dresses. A little bit bigger on me than I would like, but she's definitely. Right, so this skirt I bought because I was digging the tennis skirt trend, but I already have two white tennis skirts. And I think this color doesn't really do me any favors. I am getting bored with this. <laughs> the last piece of clothing I try on for you guys because obviously we've lost the light. But uh, I found this in there and this dress was another thing that was my mom's. I absolutely love it. This is obviously a keep. All right, it has taken me four hours. Here's just about everything that's left. And if you weren't too familiar with my closet, it might look the same to you, but like, trust me, I can tell the difference. Like stuff isn't as stuff together. Let's take a look at the piles that we came up with. This is stuff that's all gonna get donated. This is stuff that I think I would be able to depop. This was the pile that I wanna like take to the tailor. All in all, I would say that was pretty successful. Again, it took me four hours. I feel so much lighter already. I don't know, it just it just feels good to get rid of things that you've been like holding on to. So let me go get a couple garbage bags. Okay, so it's a few days later, but the bag of clothes that I was gonna donate is in my trunk right now. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, please. And if you wanna see any more decluttering stuff for me, subscribe and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.